So everywhere in the world I go, I seem to find one thing, and that's Australians. So here I am in Magna 2018 with an Australian with his own booth. So here's Anthony from Delua, really um, forging the Australian aquarium industry forward with all sorts of initiatives and new products. So I just want to grab Anthony for a minute and just get him to show us what are some of the new products that he's doing and, and what, are you, what are you working on? So obviously in Australia, everyone knows who we are. Um, our main two products that we want to bring to the US that have absolutely killed it in Australia are the new Great White Protein Skimmers and of course the Illumagic Blaze LEDs as well. So that's all we're here for and uh, we're working closely with uh, Joe at Unique Corals now to bring them into the country, into so, the US. So what you're basically saying is that America is currently behind Australia? At the, yeah, well, in regards to lighting, yeah, I think so. Lighting and skimmers, yeah, yeah. So we're going to bring them up to speed. So <laughs> give us a little rundown. Okay, yeah, so this is just your normal needle wheel skimmer. It's all over Australia now. Everyone knows what it is. Ultra quiet, ultra small, very modular as well. You can add all sorts of ozone reactors, CO2 scrubbers, lanthanum chloride drips as well. Um, great retail price. And the Americans are loving it too. It's only been here, uh, well, it arrives in LA next week, but we've already pre-sold a hell of a lot at the show. And um, yeah, just repping Australia. So was all developed uh, by my business partner, Christian Hoffman, uh, in Townsville. So it is developed on the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, and we're going with that theme and the Americans love it. And so, um, can you show us how the drip really works? Okay, that's more Christian's field. Uh, he's not here at the moment, but basically, this is the lanthanum chloride drip and uh, we played around with it with the, the John Lenz single doser. So it's, it's not that common that people only use lanthanum chloride to reduce the phosphates in their tank. Um, so we've just got kind of like a, an emergency type uh, removal of phosphate uh, if you have an issue. Um, but uh, Christian's tried it with the, uh, the single John Lenz uh, dosing pump and you can actually drip it over every day to, to keep your phosphates in check. And what's the benefits of it going into the skimmer? Um, so it can get all slimy when you put it directly into the tank. So what a lot of people do is lift the skimmer cup and what they used to do is either um, dose the uh, lanthanum into the skimmer chamber or directly into the cup. So with this drip you're going straight into the air intake which is straight through uh, the, uh, the pump and then you can bind the phosphates to the bubbles immediately and skim straight out. And so if there's a outlet source, does that, yep. if we could actually potentially put something like polyfilter there to remove the residual um, lanthanum. Yeah. Um, so uh, after speaking to Eric at Blue Life, um, uh, he's done a lot of testing and, and whenever you're, you're dosing lanthanum chloride, it's best to use a, well, for emergency purposes, it's best to use a 10 micron sock uh, and that'll get you the fastest results. It's not something you would do every day. It's one of those emergency situations to re reduce phosphates, uh, but it's the, the 10 micron sock is uh, binds the phosphates and hold it.